Let's review the anatomy of the Kelly Kettle. This is the largest Kelly Kettle, and it's the base camp. All Kelly Kettles, regardless of size, are of the same construction. The fire base and the Kelly Kettle. We've cut the Kelly Kettle in half for demonstration purposes. First, note the water inlet or spout. This is where you add water for boiling. Now, you'll see the complete water chamber. Fill your kettle with water just beneath the water spout. The area in the middle of the Kelly Kettle is the chimney. Heat from the fire in the fire base rises through the chimney, allowing for fast and efficient heating of the water. While this heating of the inner wall of the chamber happens, you watch the spout for signs of boiling water. After starting the fire in the fire base, you want to add more fuel, sticks, twigs, pine cones, etc., to keep your fire hot until you're finished with boiling or cooking your food. You can easily add fuel by dropping sticks into the chimney or adding fuel directly into the fire base. All right, let's review. The spout is for adding and removing water to the kettle. Water chamber, fill this area with water to just beneath the spout. The center of the kettle is the chimney. This is where the heat rises from the fire base to quickly and efficiently heat the water in the kettle. When the water gets hot enough, you'll be able to see a rapid boil out of the spout. You may also be able to hear the boiling. Please note that the surface of the Kelly kettle becomes very hot. Always use the handle when lifting and moving the kettle. The orange stopper is to never be used while boiling or cooking. The stopper is used only for keeping the inside of the kettle clean and also for when you're transporting the kettle. Boil water, cook fast, survive. Kelly Kettle, outdoor life enjoyed. <laughs>